Okay, a, um, I feel like a lot of the videos I've been making for myself here have been a lot of wallowing in self-pity or just answering questions about horrible things that don't matter anymore. Um, they're important things and they're important to reflect on, but ultimately I must keep moving onward and upward. Um, so I'm going to talk about a very, very personal thing that I don't share with people because it generally comes off really crazy. Um, it's something I actually did long before I had a brain injury. Um, not to the degree I do now, but um, <clears throat> it is something I did before and it, and it helped before. It was only until recently I started doing it again. And that would be talking to yourself in the mirror. And I don't mean kind of like, hey, cheer up. I mean, nobody knows you as well as you know you. Nobody can or ever will. This does not just go for people with brain injuries. This is anybody. But the brain injury thing, especially, I feel and after going on some of the pages I've seen, we feel so trapped inside of our own brains. We are there in the back. We're there. We see and hear everything and we have no way of screaming it out sometimes. Some of us are luckier than others. Some of us are way unluckier than others. But all of us have the problem of being this kind of normal person trapped inside of your own brain while this maniac that looks like you and sounds like you and even talks like you sometimes runs the show. And you are doing everything you can to jump in the way. And a lot of times it feels like this big, giant, mean, horrible thing that exists now in your place and in your face that you're just this tiny little thing just jumping up behind it, screaming every once in a while, just going, Hey, no. You didn't hear me. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, that was stupid. I'm not really that mean. That's what it feels like for us. It does, it's not what it looks like for everybody else, but that's how it feels for us. So, with that comes the isolation that you feel. You may be surrounded by people that love you and are there for you and say they understand you and, and for them they understand you the best that they possibly can. But the, when it comes down to it, the, the way you are now, the way I am, the way we are, it's, it changes everything about you. And it is really, really hard to make a connection to a human being let alone a human being that you had a very stronger connection with before. They think it's that you don't like them anymore, that that's what changed about you. What changed about you is that you don't love them, or you think they are stupid now or ridiculous, and that's why you, you talk to them the way you do sometimes, or say the mean things you do, is because that's the thing that changed about you, that you don't like them. And that, that's not going to change. That's not the problem. We love you to death. We love you just as more, if not more, and respect you even more because you've been here taking care of us, the ones of you that have, the ones of us that are lucky enough to have somebody like that. But we have no way of telling you that most of the time. We just don't. I'm saying it right now because the only way I can do it is by talking to a 10-inch piece of machine. That's how I'm able to do it. I can't say these things usually. And if I do, a lot of times, I feel like they're being pushed to the side. Now, is that them pushing it to the side or is that me misinterpreting it? I don't know. But I depend on them to make the right decision because they're the only ones capable of it. But I digress from all this 
because the way I came to all these realizations, I came the way I came to doing this viry thing in the first place was I started talking to myself in the mirror and being honest with myself and looking at me and talking to me in the way that only I can understand. It may be really hard for me to understand everybody else, but you know who I can understand? Me. And everybody else out there, you may be sitting there feeling like you are gasping for air, screaming, and everybody's just walking by like it's some computer program, and you are the only real living thing in it. But you have a voice. You have somebody that can hear you. You have somebody that understands you. And it's you. Get over the fear, the silliness, the just the absurdity, or the idea of looking into a mirror at yourself and speaking to yourself like it's another person. But that's what you are right now. That's what I am. Two different people. You have this one sane, kind of shadowy figure that is, that is you. That's the real you. And they can sit there and they can take over and they can take the show, but sometimes you got to look them in the eye. And as silly as it is, it takes just simply a light bulb, a mirror, a bathroom, and a locked door <laughs> to do it. But if you do it and you really tell yourself, this is what's bothering me. This is what's wrong. And you really ask yourself, is it really them or is it me? And then you let yourself tell you the answer. If you're honest, a lot of good things will start to happen, I promise it. At the very least, it's not going to hurt anything. So, go for it. Peace out.